The first thing that you want to do is open matrix.py so that you can edit it. If you go down, you see the word pricing brackets, prices, min 36, max 71, one is 50 cents, two is a dollar. That's the number of colors. That's where you would go through on that order quantity and make your adjustments. You can also adjust the min max order quantity. That goes all the way down until you reach 5,000 plus. Then it tells you the step-by-step -step parameters that it's using to calculate the different steps. But if you scroll down, you could see your rush fees. One day is 100%, two days is 50%, how much you're charging on top of the screen printing fee. You have your screen cost, if zero if new client, else 15. And then if it's a simulated, it's 35. So this is standard, this is simulated. So those are adjustable prices. This is a order quantity, minimum 36 pieces. You have to use 36 for the pricing. If anything's under 36, it costs a total of 36 and then is divided by the number that was ordered. This section is telling it basically to keep the, the different locations separate and add them back together. You really wouldn't want to adjust anything in there. It's mostly just numbers that you're going to want to be able to adjust. Visual Studio Code is a good place to open it, and you can save it as matrix2.py. its current version works basically by you uploading the Python script here into project files matrix.py and then in the instructions you put the logic statement. This is a GPT project. Then you start a new chat where you ask it for a quote. I want 345 pieces, the shirt color is blue, it's a print on the front in the back and it's four colors on the back two colors on the front and it's a spot color and there's no rush That will start a new chat and it will apply the Python code and the instructions and it will go through and calculate the cost. 345 pieces, blue, non-white, flash green means under base. Front and back, it's three colors and five colors, standard spot. It looks up on the calculator what the cost is. So again, these are placeholder prices. These are not real prices. So 70 cents for three colors, $1.50 for five colors, gives you a total print cost of 759. Then it says the screen cost, $15 each for the front, $15 each for the back. It tells you the rejection rate based on 2%, that there will be approximately 14 rejected pieces. You can either charge for that or just be aware of it and you can adjust the code. It gives you the print cost, the screen cost, the rush fee, the total cost. Lead time is 10 business days. And then you can go back and save this with the customer name and it will save in your project. If you have an account for multiple people, everybody could access this or you can give this to everybody and they can set it up on their own system. Thanks so much, you guys. It's the end of the world,